right, so let's take a look at example eight. It says order the correlation coefficients from least to greatest for the given scatter plots. So whenever I see correlation coefficient, I think R. I gotta figure out these R values that are in here. All right, so let's take a look at these. Um, if I see these four scatter plots, and let me just scooch this up a bit so we can start to see all four of them. Uh, this is what, strong and positive, if I had to guess? I think this looks pretty strong and positive. It's definitely positive because it's got the positive slope. And this looks actually pretty strong and negative over here. Um, this is weak and positive. And here, I mean, to me, it looks negative. I, I would say this is moderate or weak. I, I mean, I need the actual R value to determine, but to me, moderate to weak, just depending, um, and negative. All right, so those, those are the four categorizations of my numbers. So, so let's think about this. If it was strong and positive, this number is gonna be close to positive one. Right, and if this one's strong and negative, this is gonna be close to negative one. If this is moderate slash weak, I, I would, but negative, this is gonna be close-ish. Oops, can't spell close correctly. I'll split the difference and just say this is close to maybe negative 0 0.5. And if this is weak and positive, we're getting closer to zero. So you wanna be careful in reading this question because sometimes we might interpret it. This is asking us to rank these correlations from least to greatest in numerical value, not in strength. I'm not saying, I'm not asking you to go from weakest to strongest. I'm asking you to go from smallest to largest. So if we take a look back at these, these scatter plots and think of it through a lens of smallest to largest, the smallest number in here, the most negative number is actually over here because this will be the number closest to negative one and that is the least number in here, right? So R3 is our lowest correlation. Even though it's one of the stronger ones, it's still a smaller number. And on the flip of that, R1 would be the highest number. So I need something, I, I need these two wedged between R3 and R1. And if I go and I look at my options, I don't even have to think much past this because here's the option with R3 as the smallest and R1 as the lowest, and there we go. All right. And then I, I would have said R2 was the next one uh, because that was the other negative number. Oops, let me scooch that up a little more. That was the other negative number and that was the, small, uh, the positive number. So it went lowest, low, next high, highest, right? So one, two, three, four, it went in that order as we were moving around the scatter plots.